In today's video, can we continue our push against Issa in the north whilst also avoiding war against the Del Mate and the Day City 8? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium. So wrecked. I mean, if you are enjoying this series, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Last time we took these two rebel settlements, Butho and Enderon, down in the south, whilst also fighting Issa in the north. Um but yeah, we did lose Narensopolis, but that destroyed Issa's army there as well, which uh, was pretty good for us. But we are ready to go for a battle, a battle at Nestos. And yeah, let's go for it, guys. So the first battle of the episode should be nice and easy. Let's be honest. I don't know what they've got. What do they have? They've got, oh, just some Greek archers and a governor. I think we can probably do this all with our generals, but uh, let's see, guys. Well, here come the general and the archers, so I think it's time for us to strike. Let's go after the archers first. Hopefully, the general's gonna charge. We do have two spearmen here. I don't think we're gonna be great at taking the charge, but uh, let's find out, guys. Let's see. How good are they gonna be? Oh, that was a pretty brutal charge, but they also lost quite a few men. So we are going to get into the action too. Let's go boys. With our three generals bodyguards, should be easy to break these boys. Hopefully we can break the general and kill him too. Come on boys, through the archers. Let's go. Let's go. Nice and easy. Again, we want to try and lose as little men as possible. Spearmen should do well against the general, even though they aren't very heavily armored at all. We do have this unit here. I'm wondering whether we uh, get around this way and give them a cheeky little charge in the back too. Let's try and kill all of these archers before they get back to the town square and then we will charge the general. We've killed most of them. Come on boys, don't let them through. Don't let them through. There's only nine of them left. Come on, seven. Now we'll go. There we go. Fantastic. Nice and easy victory for us there guys. Let's end the battle there. A glorious victory. Nestos is back in our hands and has been upgraded for free. By the AI. Thank you, Issa. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Well, there we go. Nestos is back in rightful hands of us. Fantastic. I think we're just going to occupy because, of course, um, it is just our city. Now, in terms of the movement points, what I'm thinking is, I think these guys might jump out of the city. Now, where is our spy? Oh, we don't have a spy. He died, didn't he? <laughs> Oh dear. Well, I think these guys might think that they're going to be stronger than us if we just use our general's bodyguards for Eption Salona. So let's do that. They do have a hoplite unit, which is going to be a little bit harder to destroy. But if we can kill the general, I think we'll be okay. Um, on the other hand, we could just siege it down. But I'd prefer to do a sally out battle than a siege it down. I think that'd be easier. Anything we can build in Nessos, we only have 300 gold, don't we? I wonder whether that's enough to get a spy. No, not quite. And I don't think we can actually get a spy anywhere. These are all diplomats. We need a market for that, don't we? So, might be worth building a market in Rhizon, but I was thinking about building the gold mines there when we get chance. Uh, but that has boosted up our income quite significantly. I'm going to put you down onto... Normal. Are we on as high as possible in everywhere? Yeah, let's uh, keep on going with that. And then when we get a little bit stronger in terms of our income, we will pop all of these up. Um, all of these up a little bit more. Also, we really need to repair that because if the Day City 8s come and attack, that's going to be a significant problem for us. What do they have in here? I mean, we're never going to use any of these buildings in Nestos. It's only a town, no point. So let's uh, do that, repair this. Then, ooh, we don't quite have enough to build the wooden palisade. So let's see. We could actually, let's repair that. Let's save the money so we can actually build something of use next turn. I think that's going to be the option. So let's end the turn, guys. Let's see if they're going to pop out of Eption Salona. Let's go. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Fantastic. We've got the Isaian Hoplite and we've got the General. He has got 35 men, which is quite a lot. We do have some pretty big bodyguards. So 
It's going to be a tough one, but uh, I think we can do it. Let's see, guys. Let's see. And I always forget that Sally Out battles start straight away. It's in the night as well, so I am sorry about the darkness. There's not much I can do about it. But he is over here, their general. Um, and their hoplites are coming, so we really just need to go and get away from the hoplites. We need to kill the general before the hoplites come anywhere near us. I think they have javelins too, the hoplites. So that's going to be interesting. Now we're going to try and surround the general here. Going to get a nice wide formation for us. Speed it up. And you can see that the general is struggling somewhat. So we're going to try and get past him with the 24 and the 9. And engage him with the 29 and then charge him in the back gonna rally the men there too and there we go you might guys might as well engage as well then we're gonna get these guys right in the back and we're gonna try and engage him i think we can do this the greek general's bodyguard is a very good bodyguard but you can see oof, we just took a bit of a hammering there but if we can get a good charge here this is going to make all the difference there we go 29 men let's see what happens after this charge that should really help 26, 23. Okay, that was a very, very big charge for us. That really did help out. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We've got to try and do this. If we can kill him, that would be excellent. Looks like he's not going not gonna, to uh, escape. Let's get away from these uh, hoplites as quick as possible. Because, like I say, they do have javelins. And away from the, uh, the towers as well. It's even hard for me to see here, honestly. This is the best unit. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these two. They are going to charge them in the front. And I'm going to get uh, Balos here to charge them in the back. So we might as well go over there. Or at least in the side. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Oof, this is a bit tasty. It's not the tasty that I like as well. Not the tasty that I like. Looks like they're going to go for the javelins. So let's go. Let's see what we can do. Bang. Charge from both sides. Shaken instantly. Wavering. 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 Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Right. Let's get out of there. Go, 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 boys. Go. 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 Hoping we don't lose any generals here, but we may do. That That's going to be an issue if we do. Let's go. Let's see if we can charge them again. Here we go. So they're in a bit of turmoil. Oof. That was a huge charge. That was huge. That was huge. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Again, shaken, not stirred. Not stirred at all, my friends. Not stirred at all. Let's see. Let's hold in with the 21 because they're not seeming to charge them at the minute. Let's get in. Let's also rally so the general does not get killed. And let's see what we can do here with this charge. It's going to be a tough one. There we go. Nice. Nice. Now we're going to get you out with your 21. We're going to cycle these charges. So they're facing the wrong way still. And then we're going to charge in again. Let's see. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. This is massive. This is huge. This is huge. Can we break this unit? Their general's coming now as well. You can see him on the mini-map. Broken. Kill them all, my friends. Kill them all. And then we're going to turn and face the general. Kill the general. Let's go. This is it. This is it, boys. This is it. Come on. Glorious. Glorious. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Continue. 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 We want to take the settlement. We want to take the settlement. Chase after him. I think we can get through the walls if he opens the gate for us. There's only two men left. Two men left. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Now chase him down. Oh, yes. That is what we like to see, boys. Come on. That was so tight. That was so tight. I was... Uh... I was a little bit scared of that at that, <laughs> at that moment. But uh, luckily, I don't think we lost any generals. And we destroyed them. Glorious. Look at that. Third general, 93 kills. Fantastic. Absolutely glorious. Let's get back on the campaign map. Well, I think the only thing we can do is enslave this population. So let's go with that. And another candidate for adoption. We are 100% going to accept that. And that guy can now, if he is a good... Um, he is a good governor. Let's have a look. He's an adult, confident commander. Uh, Phil Helenos. This man has acquired a fondness and appreciation for Greek culture and manners. He even imitates their customs in his behavior and appearance. That gives him extra influence. Um, he's just really not that good at anything, really. So, we will leave him in Eption Salona. And we're going to go straight on to the next settlement. This time, we're not going to be... 
crazy and risk anything mental. Gonna keep you in Nestos. And we're gonna bring these three experienced generals through. You guys are gonna go into there. And we're gonna build up our rams. Now, let's have a look here. 35%. That's not ideal, is it? Do we have mercenaries? Well, we can afford one turn of uh, pretty much bad unrest, can't we? Again, we might build a recruitment hub over here. Not Nestos. This one because it's a large town. So I am going to leave those recruitment buildings in there for now. We are now a minor power. We are two to five cities. Oh, we've lost that, of course. We are now a minor power instead. Good. Confident commander for Pluratos. Um, and Pluratos gets a Hellenic Grieve. That's quite cool. After a great victory against the Greeks, this man has obtained as a war booty an impressive greave, which he now wears on his right leg. <laughs> so he's just wearing a single greave on his right leg. And apparently we still have zero command with this guy, even though he's got a famous warrior. Like, why do we just have zero command? <laughs> but that's okay. We now do have some money. So let's pop that in there. And let's see what we want to build in Ryzon. I am thinking the gold mines just because we need money at the moment. And I'm probably going to pop in some more slingers. So we've got an extra governor for later down the line. And also our ship. That's another thing that we want to think about. I'm thinking about trying to get them in there. But if we get stopped by the Isaians. Let's have a look. We're probably going to have to come around this way, honestly. So Issa does have two settlements left. They've got Korkira, Malina, and Issa. So I want you to get in there so that we can actually walk across there. Because I don't believe we can walk across to those islands. No, we cannot. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Enderon has upgraded. And then I don't think we've got any more money, have we? So... Hmm, I think that's everything we want to do. We're making 3,000 a turn now, but I think we're going to be making a lot more once Tragurion is taken. And then Issa and uh, Korkira as well. I think we'll be making a decent amount of money because there's a lot of ports along here, as you can see, that we are trading with the uh, enemy. There's also this settlement here, which is a large town that is rebel territory that has a port. So that would be a nice one to snatch up, but I don't think we'll have chance... Before the Day City 8s or the Del Mate are going to get into us. So um, let's see what we can do, guys. Let's end the turn. Well, we just got an alliance with the Scordisci. I think that is really going to help us out. Let's see if we can scam them for some money. I'm thinking more like a thousand for our map information now. The greatest map information the world has ever seen. 270. No, it's, it's definitely worth more than that, you fools. <laughs> And once again, another candidate for adoption. I really don't think we can turn these down at the moment, guys. Uh, we definitely need more and more governors for our cities. Because the more governors we have, the less sort of slingers we need in our cities. And I think we can get you into Nestos. And then you can pop into Eption and make them happy. There we go. They're even happy at normal now. They did break a few things, which is going to cost us some money, unfortunately. But that is fine. With the rest of our money, I think we want to recruit some more troops. So, let's see. I mean, Ryzon is the only place we can recruit and we are already recruiting. So, huh. let's do the siege first. Where's unhappy? Nestos is now incredibly unhappy, so we've got to put it down to low. Um, I don't like this Illyrian army up here. And I also really do not like the Day City 8. They are supposed to be our ally, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think that's going to last too much longer. In fact, because it's not going to last long, we're going to pop that in there. Um, but let's get into Tragurion, guys. Should be a nice and easy battle. Oh, my God. All Slingers. We could probably do this just with our cavalry again, but... Huh, all Slingers. I think I'm going to risk auto-resolving that, because you guys don't want to see that again. And that was a pretty easy victory. Um, let's again enslave in here. And again, we're going to keep the military buildings because we're going to try and make this into a bit of a military hub as we go forward. I'm thinking we'll leave behind the Southern Illyrian Cavalry. There we go. How far can we get? Can we get all the way back to Ryzon? No, but we might be able to if we jump on the ships. Problem being here, if we get stuck by any other ships, we are a bit screwed. So let's go there, go there. 
There we go. Now you can get back in Ryzon and you can retrain some of the troops. We'll be able to retrain everyone next turn. I think we've done a good job going against um, Issa at the moment. It looks potentially like the Day City 8s, however, are going to be our next, uh, uh, next enemy. Epidauros has upgraded too. That's fantastic. We are going to pop that in. Although... With minus 3% growth this turn, we might not be able to upgrade it next turn. So that's a little bit problematic. How much money can we gain from anything? I mean, if we don't repair those and we don't build that, we can pop that in. Because once you've started building it, no, we need 3,000. Oh, 200 extra gold. Well, let's uh, not retrain them then. Because if you don't know, guys, if you've popped it in and it starts building and then your population goes below, it will still build. Whereas if the population goes below next turn, we're not going to be able to build it. So let's end the turn there and let's see what happens with the Day City 8s in the north. And as expected, the Day City 8s want to cancel the alliance. Oh, let's try and uh, scam them again. But no, very demanding this time. So uh, yeah, not great, but... Um, the Day City 8s are not that strong, so I think we'll be okay. They have the Northern Illyrian roster too, which is a lot worse than the Southern one. So let's see what happens. Very likely they're going to attack us here. And as expected. <laughs> well, I'm just having a look at our army, guys. Is it strong enough to take on these boys? Honestly, probably not. So it looks like we are going to lose the settlement there, which is a little bit of a nightmare. But it's okay. We'll actually wait for this this guy to come in. Because I think they're probably going to take Narensopolis and then go for Glinditopolis. Could really do with building the walls there, though. Hmm. Got walls in Nestos now. Ooh. Money, money, money. Money, 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 huh? It's a, it's a bit of an issue. Anything in these buildings, like anything, like we don't need a practice range here. Definitely not. How much are the walls? 1,800. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to destroy everything in Narenzopolis because we do want that. <laughs> we do want that building uh, to take back that building. I mean, we can destroy the practice range here. It's less valuable than anything else uh, in terms of the military buildings. So let's pop that back in. And there we go. Anything else we want to have a look at? Don't think so. We've got construction reports in here. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm going to save the rest of our money because we really do need to keep hold of it. Like I say, that's a relatively big army. 11 units. So we will have 11 as well when once we've got this Illyrian Axeman. But yeah. <laughs> Little bit scary. Del Mate also making overtures over here too. But I think, yeah, we've got we've got to deal with the threat to the north, really, don't we? And I would really like a spy at some point, but <laughs> he's dead. No. And they actually didn't attack, so I think we are going to move out with our units. Uh, unfortunately, we you know we can't get all the way there, but we're going to move anyway. And hopefully the Illyrians don't uh, stop their alliance with us this turn. That would be a bit of a disaster because we get stuck. But um, it's okay. It's okay. We've got a fresh army now. Let's sort these boys out. Yeah, nice and fresh. I think we'll be okay. The only thing with them is their light cavalry is going to be quite significantly better uh, than us. And do a little bit of extra damage to us. So, yeah, it's... A little bit annoying, but it's that's fine. Let's see what we can do in terms of other buildings. We are building that. As you can see, 2016 men now. Um, anything else we want to build? Hmm. Potentially, let's repair those. Let's get a market in Eption Salona. It's going to help us with a tiny bit of money. I mean, actually, that's quite a lot. 39 extra money. Uh, but that will allow us to build a spy here, which we really do need. I've also not moved my diplomat for ages because we got an alliance with the Romans. So let's bring him back and let's use him as a spy. <laughs> Keep coming, my friend. Keep coming. You are going to be our new spy You're on a diplomatic mission, but um, actually a spy. I mean, where have we heard that before in modern history, my friends? But anyway, let's end the turn here.
And now we get a proper look at their army. It's actually not that strong. It just depends. Oh, they do have their faction leader who looks like a mental bastard. Look at him. <laughs> you see plenty of faces like that at 3 a.m. on any British night out, my friends. Any British night out. Um, but anyway... <laughs> It's not that good. They've got a lot of cavalry, though, but we do have a decent amount of spearmen. I am going to play this. I probably won't show anything from playing this, but I'm just going to try and kill as many men as possible, uh, more than the auto-resolve, so let's see. Well, we didn't really kill many men. Problem being, the pathing was a bit screwed up, and like when I told my guys to go back to the town square, they just decided to do a dance, so... <laughs> But oh well, 26 men, better than, uh, 24 men, better than nothing, right? <laughs> okay, Issa wants a ceasefire. Honestly, I'm willing to take that for 4,000 gold, 100%. We need that money, and that's going to allow us to focus on the day city eights while we are in a ceasefire with Issa, and then we can come back to Issa later, and it will stop them, you know, naval invading us along our coast. So yes, absolutely. Oh, Let's also get a Cheeky trade rights with them the for the time being. Also. Fantastic. Okay, the Labeateans have now declared war on the Illyrians. Now, the Illyrians definitely pose more of a threat than the Labeateans. So, we're going to click the tick to maintain our alliance with the Illyrians. So, there we go. Labeateans no longer our ally at all. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, they aren't very strong, so, uh, and also in Ryzon, we now have the mines, the gold mines. That's really gonna help us out with our, uh, our income going forward. So, fantastic. We're in a good position, still. Let's scout ahead slowly, see what they've got going. Are they still just inside the city? It looks like they are. So, four turns to siege it down. Honestly, if we assault this, that's going to be so bloody. And we don't really have a good army for assaulting it. So I'm thinking we just siege it down. Oh, we can uh, we can actually assault it because the walls are damaged still. I still just... I just don't think we've quite got the strength to take that, unfortunately. Um, I mean, let's see. What do they have? I mean, they do have a lot of cav and not much infantry, but... Honestly, we don't have a huge amount of infantry either, really. I feel like if we assault it, we're just going to get absolutely ruined by the javelins. So, I want to at least wait for this unit here. Come forward. Come forward, my friend. Okay, apparently I can't click on you anymore. There we go. You're going to go there. We're also going to keep on recruiting while we have the cash. Going to go for one more Illyrian Spearman or potentially Illyrian Skirmishers. I think that's going to be the option. Then over here, we are building that uh, market. But in um, Tragurion, where we have a little bit of military infrastructure, we're going to pop that in too. Nestos, let's have a look at where we're building and where we're not. I mean, Ryzon would be a good option to build in. I mean, we could go for the mining complex, but no. Let's go for the blacksmith while we have the chance to build up some of our armor in our troops. Because our troops, as most of the Illyrian troops do, have very little armor. What is our reform requirements, actually? Control 15 cities. Okay. How far are we off that? Three, six, eight. So we've got eight. So we need to double in size, basically. If we take those two, we take the day city eight, and we destroy the Del Mate, I think we'll be close, honestly, to having 15 cities, if not already have 15 cities. So, okay, apparently we can't get through any of these regions, so uh, we're going to go that way. Good. Um, and let's see, they might even sally out here. They might even sally out. That would be amazing for us if they do that. So let's hope that they do that. And let's end the turn, guys. And they didn't actually sally out this turn, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Oh, the Iopodes, who are they under siege by? Oh, the Laburni. The Laburni are going to be a very strong enemy going forward in the campaign. So, yeah, we need to uh, be careful of them. Del Mate is still all the way up in the north still. Um, that's a little bit bad for us because that's going to extend our war with them somewhat. Uh, but, oh, we built an, a, a governor's villa in Epidauros. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's what we like to see, boys. 
Let's get this in here. And then, then I think I think we're strong enough to take the city. It's going to be really tough. I know it's going to be really tough. And we don't have much Javi troops to combat their Javi troops. But yeah, I think we've just got to go for it. We've got to go for it. I think we can kill the cavalry relatively easily. What do they have infantry-wise? Yeah, it's some Illyrian Axemen and Illyrian Spearmen. Our Southern Illyrian Spearmen are better. Our Axemen are about equal. So, yeah, it's just all about killing their cavalry, which, um, let's see whether we can do that. Let's get into the battle, guys. Yes! In the sight of the gods, they do not rejoice to see brave men die. By night, though, they will rejoice in a victory. This I pledge to you. Yes, glorious Pluratos. Well, unfortunately, we are uh, around the other side from where they came in last time. Um, well, that's fine. We will still get a nice little cheeky uh, destruction off on the gates and the walls. We're only going to use two units for this, and we're going to use our meat shield units because, obviously, uh, <laughs> we need some good meat shields, don't we, my friends? We need some good meat shield for all of their javelins. If they use all their javelins on my slingers, that would be fantastic. So let's get um, our units all ready and set up nice and easy, and let's go. And as you can see, plenty of javelins coming in for the from the enemy with the slave javelin men. So uh, hopefully our guys can get a couple of javies off. I'm thinking about just charging my general through this gap. But uh, what we might do is actually open up another hole in the wall. It will take a little bit of time. You know, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna uh, we're gonna take things as slow as possible, really, and see whether we can. Uh, get through this gap first and come across here so they are moving the day city eight's footman there so if they do that we might then try to come back this way in fact no we're going to get the javelin men through there not the javelin men the axemen these guys can fire no problem whatsoever and yeah i think we're going to get the general through to charge down the slave javelin men and slingers and yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's go and try and hold that Day City 8's footman with our spearmen here. And we'll try and flank with our uh, with our axemen for the time being. Okay, looks like they're, uh, they're going like that. So let's uh, get one of these guys to block off this flank. And the two of you can go against them. It's a bit of a mess coming through the walls, as you can see, as it always is. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. You guys get there. Let's see what we can do with our cavalry. I think we can just leave them in the fight here. Don't think it's going to be too bad to leave them in the fight. What are the Axemen doing? Let's try and get them into the Day City 8's footman. They are shaken, not stirred at the minute. So are all these guys shaken. That's fine. It looks like they're retreating somewhat. Okay, no problem. We're going to bring our slingers forward then. These guys are opening another hole in the gates. But I don't think we're really going to need that too much. Looks like we've broken one of the units, so let's go for the uh, slave javelin men there. And looks like the Day City 8's footman has completely gone as well. So what we're going to do, bring the spearmen forward here. And we're going to bring the axemen around this way to flank with the javelins, if possible. I'm also going to bring cavalry that way to flank around this side. And yeah, we're going to try and use our, our missile men to really bring everyone into the fray. Well, here we go. They have charged into our spear wall on this flank. That is really interesting. We've got our Northern Illyrian skirmishers and footmen over there. It looks like they're also trying to bring some of their cavalry around this way. I'm just going to try and stay away from their javelins for now. I'm going to bring my slingers through this way and also the footmen up a bit closer so they can uh, charge the enemy. I'm going to get the noble spearmen over here to protect the flank. And I'm going to get the uh, the Axemen into the back here, if possible. What do we have there? Northern Illyrian Skirmishers. Well, we could just charge them. But I'm just so worried about the Javelins at the moment. Looks like their cavalry... Yeah, as you can see, our Spearmen are just holding really, really well. So, yeah. Just get there. Just get there, Slingers. Stop messing around. That'd be good. Uh, what do we have there? More Day City 8s. Yeah, Day City 8s Footmen. I'm going to get the Axemen here and just use their Javelins 
to destroy these boys completely. And we're going to just get a nice line here of the Noble Spearmen who have a bit of armor. Not a huge amount of armor, but a nice cheeky bit of armor to help us out. That should be good. Slingers should be in the fight now, firing at the enemy. You guys should be uh, firing. Come on, boys. Fire. Don't worry about the enemy. Uh, don't worry about the friendly fire. You're right behind them. Like, just halt and fire, guys. Halt and fucking fire, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> God damn it. Fire. Like, what are they doing, bro? Like, why are you charging when you could be firing your javelins? You imbeciles. Honestly, man. Honestly. Come on, bro. Let's get there. Looks like the noble spearmen are taking a bit of a damage. Bit of a damage. Bit of damage. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, there we go. Fire at them and charge them. There we go. They're firing some javelins now. Hopefully, we can break this whole block. They are distraught from taking nearby enemy infantry uh, casualties. The noble spearmen should be able to destroy that cavalry. No problem. There we go. Straight in the back of them now, boys. Straight in the back of them. They're all breaking. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Glorious, 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 glorious routing. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. What do we have over here? We just need to engage a few of these units before our cavalry gets into the action here. Well, let's bring our spearmen up again this way. And again, we're going to send our axemen probably around that way would be the best thing. So get going. I know they're a little bit tired, but we've got to move fast. We've got to move fast and try and close them down. Wow, we've just killed their general. He's just been engaged. We're also going to get engaged by these Northern Illyrian skirmishers, which are actually a relatively decent unit. So we're trying to kill the general now, and it's pretty much just horde time, I think. <laughs> it's just charging through with the horde of, uh, horde of our units. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job of destroying everyone and breaking them. So, yeah, it looks like we're doing a decent job at least. Let's see if we can maybe um, grab some of these guys off the town square, if possible. Noble Spearmen, get around there. You can engage this Northern Illyrian Cavalry. Uh, but there we go. Looks like another Day City 8's Cavalry is getting involved in the action. Where are you guys? Yes, you guys, we need you up here firing into the enemy for now. And then you guys can just come and calm down for a second. Axemen can get around this way. And I'm hoping we can just chuck Javis into them to force them off the town square. Because that is still a lot of cavalry to kill on the town square. You guys go and deal with the Northern Illyrian spearmen, etc. But it looks like they're just breaking upon seeing our men. Nothing else. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can, uh, can grab a few of these off the town square before they chuck too many javelins into our men. But we've really done quite a decent job here so far. You guys get forward. You guys get there. And you'll be able to fire at the Northern Illyrian Axemen. Get the Noble Spearmen there too. And that should allow us to hopefully drag them off the town square. Because killing them on the town square is not going to be easy. Let's get you guys through here too. Footman, let's get you behind there. Where's our slingers going? They decide to run along where all of the fighting is happening, but uh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Um, but there we go. Let's see if we can chuck into the Northern Illyrian Axemen. Taking a lot of damage from the Javis, as usual, as we've said before. Javelins for our units are absolutely brutal because there's no, like, armor for them. So there they go. Illyrian Axe Cavalry coming to have a little bit of a go as well. But there we go. Try and fire at the Northern Illyrian Axemen if you can, guys. If you can. But there we go. Just the axe that we need to get off the town square now. So I want you to fire at the axe. Guys, get back. Just get back. You don't need to charge onto the town square. And look at this. Just absolutely pummeling them with our javelins. Nice. Nice. That's what we like to see. And they're just constantly charging our men. Just fire, guys. There we go. Thank, thank you. I know you struggle with the orders sometimes, but god damn it, bro. <laughs> you guys, let's get you forward, see if you... Oh, here they come. They are coming off the town square now. Good, 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 good. Fire at them again. Fire at them again. And if they want to... Yeah, you guys, I need you to fire at the Northern Illyrian Axemen. You guys too. Here we go. Should be able to absolutely shred these boys. Glorious. Get those, get those javelins off and then we're going to charge in with our spearmen and our cavalry. All at once. Come on, guys. Are you firing? 
Come on, boys. <laughs> Not so glorious. About two javelins going in. But fine. Let's just go now. Let's just go. I think this has been a pretty darn good victory. We've only lost like 300 men versus how many? Yeah, they've lost like a thousand. Glorious. Now we just need to kill these axemen and we shall be victorious, my friends. Very nice indeed. Look at that. What a glorious victory. Pluratos better have some command skill after this. Everyone doing fantastically well. General 140, Axeman 190, Noble Spearman 128, Axeman 141 kills. What a glorious victory. And of course, we're just going to occupy Narensopolis because obviously it is a um, settlement that was ours before. Very good. We got it. Yes, good commander. Finally, Pruleratos. Do you have command? Do you have command now? No, still. What? Where is all this command going? Like, why does he have zero? That's one. That's that's when he's attacking. So that's three when he's attacking. Minus two command from being pious. Okay, so we're at one again. That's another one. Uh, so that's two. Minus one is one. Oh, my God. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. There must be another minus one. Oh, God. Yeah, here. Injured in battle. Oh, he got injured. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, but let's leave the slingers behind. Let's see if we can go... Oh, we can't actually reach them. I should have tried to just do that with our cavalry. But that's okay. That's okay. We do have some money still. What are we doing in terms of people building up? I think we'll build the palisade there now. I know they're not exactly the greatest buildings in, in terms of giving us income or anything like that. But... With the Labeateans now neutral to us, we don't want to just leave Enderon completely on its own. Although it doesn't have any units in it, so maybe uh, we need to have a think about that at some point. When we get another general, we can pop them in there. Nestos does have walls. Oh yeah, it's because it's a Greek city within the walls. I was going to say, it doesn't look like it does, but that's fine. You guys can go up to normal now. Okay, good. Well, I don't know about the day city it's like how much land they have, but I think it's only three settlements. But um, let's find out, guys. Let's find out. Let's end the turn there. Well, the Labeateans want an alliance back, but unfortunately we can't do it because they're enemies of the Illyrians. So I'm we're not going to do that. We will try and sell them map information, though. Let's let's keep it about a thousand. Let's see whether that's balanced. They accept it. Glorious. Well then, guys, we are starting to actually make some money now, which is absolutely fantastic. And we are going to continue to keep recruiting. What I'm going to do is leave the troops in here for now. Um, just leave them there for now. I think we're going to go for another... Let's go for another Southern Illyrian skirmish here. Like we've seen, the Javelins are so, so powerful against the Northern Illyrians especially. Um, so yeah, we are going to keep that in there for now. And we do need to start building up recruitment elsewhere so i am going to build the militia barracks in epidauros that's going to allow us what oh it's all aor there because we're on level three need to get to level four to get our units but that will allow us to get hoplites not the best hoplites but they do have armor and that's actually got to be very useful against these javelins uh, of the enemy what other things could we get in here we could get thurio foroi archers and akontistai and all that sort of thing Anywhere else that has a decent recruitment hub for us, like a level 3 or 4? No, nothing else. So, um, yeah, we're really going to have to think about that for the long run. Yeah, like over here would be very good, but we will build it next turn. Let's build that then, and then let's see where else we want to build. We're still building in Ryzon. Anything that can bring us money, basically, anywhere else. Um, Glyndittanopolis could get the trader. That's nice and cheap. We could also get the land clearance at Nestos, so let's do that, and Narensopolis. And then that is everything that we can afford right now. We are still recruiting there, good. And I think we can do a draw route battle here, guys. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. So what's this? That's their faction leader. I don't want to regicide them, but they do still have other faction members, good. Okay, let's also check where their other cities are. I mean... These are not valuable cities, so where the hell is it? It's in here somewhere. There's roads going this way. Roads here? Over here somewhere? <laughs> Must be... Unless... Oh, no. This is that. 
Huh. That's Illyrians there. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's Scordisky. This is going to put us at war... Uh, like, bordering the Scordisky, which is not ideal. And apparently... Yeah, I think... I think they just have two settlements then. Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's engage them. Let's go for this one, guys. Well, I cannot see where their other army's coming in from. But if we remember, it should be the back right corner. So, and like, uh, we don't really want to take out this army really quickly. Because I want the other army to come in. So, we're going to just chill out for a second. Do they have any long-range missile troops? They do have slingers. So, if they do stop, uh, you know, taking us on... We will then go and engage them. But I have no idea where their other army is. So we're just going to wait. There we go. It's coming now. So it's it's relatively in. So let's go forward. Let's now engage them. Don't need to wait any longer. Cool. We know where they are. Noble Spearmen on the way, boys. On the way as well. Let's get you guys there. And let's get our cavalry over here. Ready to protect the flanks. Here we go. Engaging the enemy now, guys. Engaging... The enemy. A lot of them are javelin troops, so we're going to have to just uh, play this carefully. Thinking we bring you through here. This is a problem, like, without our light cavalry, which we need. But we uh, we can only recruit it from one. Like, that's, the, that's our major issue right now, is we can only recruit from one place. And that's it. But here comes some of the, uh, the enemy general. So, uh, let's see if we can uh, continue... Having a look around. I don't think they've got that much. Like, is it just the Northern Illyrian skirmishers? If it is, then we should be absolutely fine. So you guys need to be there to ch uh, to uh, fire at the enemy. These Northern Illyrian spearmen are uh, fa being a little bit problematic. There's only... There's 81 of them, but they're a bit spread out through our ranks. I want to go for the charge here. Are you guys able to fire? Like, do you ever fire? <laughs> the Axemen just... <laughs> Have really, really bad uh, rate of fire, it seems. Really bad rate of fire. There we go. That's one of the generals. We've got to kill both of them, remember. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. Charging in with the enemy into the Northern Illyrian skirmishes. There we go. Javelins flying into them, too. I'd like you to fire at the Northern Illyrian general. The Northern Illyrian general, although it's a lot of men, is pretty darn trash, guys. It's pretty darn trash. So, we've got to be careful of that. Oh, my God. We're going to get charged here, too. So, unfortunately, this unit's going to take a bit of damage. But the Northern Lyrian Cavalry is not amazing. So, I think we'll be okay for the time being. Let's see if we can kill them. Remember, we've got to kill 85% of both armies here to take the settlement. So, and we've got to kill this general too. So, yeah. It's, uh, you guys turn around. I'm not bothered about you fighting them. So, I really need one of these guys to chase down one of them. So go and chase them down, guys. Go and chase them down. Please, can you get there? That would be amazing if you could get there before the end of the battle. But uh, yeah, Northern Illyrian General, really, really, really... Uh, there we go. Killed him. Very nice. That's fantastic. Oh, unfortunately, the Northern Illyrian Cavalry are going to escape. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. I'm going to send you after them too. And you guys can come and chase down anyone else that remains. There is pretty much no troops left. But whether we've destroyed both armies enough, I don't know, guys. Well, moment of truth, guys. Have we killed enough? Probably not. Probably not. That Dasasta de Citian doesn't look like 85% there. It looks only like a third um, that they've got left rather than 15%. So, fortunately, we're not going to have taken the city, but we have very much weakened them and killed two family members. Very nice indeed. And as expected, we didn't take them out fully. So we are going to have to siege them down. They've got literally 47 men left. That should be an easy auto resolve for us. I'm thinking we leave behind Bardilis up here to govern because we really don't have much garrison troops. And we're quite damaged right now. So I am hoping that the Day City 8s only have that one settlement like it shows. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's end the turn, guys. Another successful turn. And let's go. Well, I guess Issa is going to have to wait. The Day City 8... Sorry, the Del Mate are going to declare war on us now. So that's going to be a little bit annoying. But I think we can deal with them. It's just dealing with them quick enough to then turn around and go for Issa before the Laburni then come and attack us. So um, yeah, it's a constant rush in this campaign so far. <laughs> well, on to the next turn. And Militus has come out. That's very good to see. I love a bit of Militus. Very nice, cool, ancient uh, city faction. 
Um, we've also got a um, a market here now, so we can get a spy. Fantastic! Eventually, eventually. <laughs> Let's um, auto resolve this one, guys. Seventy eight. Oof. A little bit more than I would have liked, but um, at the end of the day, it's not too bad. Also, I don't think we're going to need military buildings up here, so let's take the money from those. Because really, yeah, we really just don't need them up here at all. I'm going to leave behind, like I say, although that's a large town, so I prefer this guy to govern that. Let's leave the, uh, the footmen in there. They're actually very happy with us. Let's keep on high so it's on 0% growth. It's only 520 people there. Um, but there we go. Let's also siege this down. Pretty damaged army. If the Del Mate do attack us, then, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. But hopefully we can take this very quickly and then go for the next settlement. Yeah, so the score disky there and there. So, yeah, I think this is the last Del Ma uh, De City 8 settlement. Let's come and have a look at the Del Mate, see what they're wanting to do. I will also consider putting some watchtowers along here while we've got our general over in this region so we can see the Scordisci and the Illyrians uh, just in case they, they want to come and attack us at any point. But we've got a decent amount of money now, so let's see what we can build. Enderon over here. Hmm, Enderon, yeah. Let's go for the trader. Nice and cheap. Also brings us some extra money. Butho as well. Probably going to go for Dionysus for the tax income. And then Eption Salona over here. Let's finally build the recruitment hub so we can start building some troops. We can get Asian hoplites here, which are really bad hoplites. So, um, yeah, not ideal. But what does, like, say, level 3 of this give us? Thurio Foroi, which will be fine. Four armor for the Thurio Foroi. Not amazing. But honestly, nothing is really amazing in there. What about in here? Again, it's the Issa AOR. So, yeah, not fantastic. But it's just going to allow us to recruit, you know, uh, garrison troops. Maybe some more hoplites to join the army too. So, that'll be good. And then we are building everywhere, aren't we? I think. Fantastic. Very nice. Glorious. I love to see that, my friends. And plenty of building continuing. Looks like Issa is there. Issa is also here. And I would love them to take Faros. If we can maybe snipe Faros as well, that would be amazing because it's a large town. It's Greek. It's got a nice port as well. Um, but they did have a massive GCS army nearby. But I think we can maybe just pop on, snipe it, uh, and then the GCS won't be bordering us anywhere. So it doesn't really matter being at war with them in the long run. But let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, the Day City 8s want to become our protectorate. I don't think so. We might as well take them out while we've got the chance. Well, there we go, guys. Let's have a look. We've got our diplomat down here for now. Let's see if we can regain an alliance with the Del Mate. No, definitely not. We are still allied with the Liberni. Um, I'm wondering if we go talk to the Dardanians might be a good option. And potentially Macedon as well. That's the Labeateans. So let's, uh, let's pop around this way. We are still allied to the Illyrian Kingdom. I don't want to go south at the moment because by doing that, we are basically just doing the Epirus campaign of fighting into Macedon. I want to kind of like border off here at this river uh, and Lake Skodra, I believe. Is that Lake Skodra? I think that's Lake Skodra. Um, so I want to border off here at Lake Skodra, basically, at this river crossing and just keep this border... Uh, for the south, take all of Illyria and then see what we want to do. Potentially raiding Rome, potentially taking this area, this rich, fertile area around here. Look at that, farming level high, very high, all over this region. That is going to make us incredibly rich. So, um, yeah, we'll probably want to take that off some rebels, whilst also maybe raiding Rome. Um, but let's, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see when we get there. Another faction has emerged. Taras, go on the boys. Let's see how long they last. <laughs> probably, probably not very long, to be honest. Lots of buildings being built there. That's good. Now that we have an actual, um, an actual thing down here, let's get some assignment. No, let's get uh, light cavalry. Let's get Prodromoi because we need light cavalry. We've also got our spy now, so we can actually pop out and actually see what's going on. Okay, looks like. Uh, the Liberni have some pretty big armies. Like I say, the Liberni are going to be 
a big enemy for us to fight. The Delmate are going north. So I think we do maybe have time to deal with those boys. Let's have a look diplomatically. Are the Delmate at war with the Laburni? So let's try and find them on the list here. There they are. No, they are at war with the Iapodes, though. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. If we attack them, the Illyrians might join their side. Issa's actually going for this. If Issa takes these two settlements, that would be fantastic for us as well. Because, um, like I say, we want to take out Issa next, pretty much. But let's take the city first. We really don't have many troops, but um, I think we can win just with the power of our generals, honestly. Again, infantry is, is a big issue for us right now, but let's get into the battle, guys. Look how small our army looks now, guys. <laughs> absolutely tiny. Still looking absolutely glorious, but so, so small indeed. <laughs> oh my god. Tiny little army. Well, as you can see, guys, there's a little bit of an issue going on. I don't know what's going on. Look how j janky it is, but if I pause... Absolutely smooth as anything, so don't know what's causing that. They just have the standard like things we fought before, so it's not like they have new units that we've never seen before. Um I'm gonna see if it continues, but we might reload the battle and see whether that works if it does continue. So I've reloaded guys, and it seems like if I try and get them to click on the gate, as you can see. It starts lagging, whereas if I go on the wall, there we go, smooth. So, I don't know, there's something wrong with trying to break down this gate. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but uh, luckily we have found a solution. So, like I say, reloaded. Let's see what we can do. So, we've broken down the gate, guys, but I'm not going to charge through yet because, like, our infantry is so damaged. We, we can't just beat these guys in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Going to have to break this wall as well. I think the issue might be something to do with this in terms of the gate. I don't know why, but you can see that clear line there. Um, I think that might be it, but uh, I don't know. Just so the mods know when they watch this. Um, but yeah, they'll have to have a look and see uh, what the problem is. But we've managed to get around it, so that's no problem. And now we can hopefully surround their whole army. Let's see. Here we go. Now the walls are down, my friends. We're going to charge in and try and hold all of these men. Uh, and then we're going to get our cavalry around the back to try and deal with them and charge them in the bark. But let's see. Uh, let's see whether we can do that. Don't want to take too much javy shots. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to use all of our infantry here to try and kill these guys. This is actually going to be a lot closer, I think, than I was initially thinking. Can we go after that general? Let's find out. Here we go. We're in the fight now. We're in the fight. Maybe. Come on, generals. Let's go. Let's go. You need to hurry up. You need to hurry up. There we go. Get into the Northern Illyrian skirmishes. Come on, big general. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Stop being so slow. There we go. Now we've surrounded these guys. We're not going to win this outright, so we need to try and kill the general, then rout these boys. But let's see whether we can do that. Rally the men so the general doesn't die. And again, our southern Illyrian general's quite a bit better than the northern Illyrian one, even though they do have some javelins. So we should be able to absolutely savage them. As you can see, absolutely glorious. Let's go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No, kill him. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. We might be taking some javelin shots now. Let's now charge down the hill into these guys and hopefully break them. Let's see whether that's gonna gonna happen. Let's go. We do have our noble spearmen in the in the fight, so they're of course gonna be a really good unit still. Easy break there. Can we break the Northern Illyrian spearmen at the same time? They are shaken. Let's uh, let's try and uh, go for another charge rather than wasting our general again. There we go. Let's kill him. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, my friends. Kill. There we go. Straight down. Straight down again. Rally the men, my friends. Rally the men. There we go. Broken them all. Broken them all. Fantastic. Well, let's see what we can do next. Probably going to get our spearmen around that side. Axemen up here. And the noble spearmen across there. 
And the general can just chase these guys down and then go for a charge as well. Here comes the charge from the Illyrian Axe Cavalry. That's going to be a little bit annoying. But it uh, should be okay. Let's see if we can get our general in there to charge them. We've also got their axemen on the town square, which we need to try and get off with our javelins. So I'm going to stop them firing their javelins and just charge them in for now. Looks like they're running away. Looks like they're running away. I don't know. Maybe they're going after the noble spim, and that's a bad, bad idea, my friends. <laughs> really bad idea if you want to go after the noble spearmen. Um, and let's bring our spearmen through. I love the wide open spaces on these, uh, these maps because it just allows you so much more... Uh, flexibility for, for, for maneuvering. Oh my god, we're going to absolutely shred this axe cavalry. Look at that. Broken straight away. Very nice. Right, general out. General out. Get out there, my friends. Get out there. And let's see if we can bring these guys forward to, uh, to deal with them. Okay, they're, they're already charging off the town square. Good. Let's see if we can push them off the town square as well. General, come on. Come on, General. Come on. Stop being... Oh, you have to go that way to path right. Okay, well, go this way. That's fine. And then we're just going to have to surround them and charge them off the town square, I feel like. So fire your javies, boys. Fire your javies. Fire your javies. There we go. Spearmen in there now, too. And then we can try and push them off the town square with our General, it would seem. So there we go. Boys, fire your javies and get in. Fire your jabbies and get in. Let's also go. Let's also go and just get everyone in the fight. Bang. Off. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. And we're just going to leave our generals in fighting. There we go. Glorious victory, my friends. Glorious victory. Fantastic. The day city eights should now be dead. Fantastic. And there, look at that. Pluratos, 438, and we lost 79 men. What a glorious victory. There we go. We've taken the capital of the Day City 8. So that should be them dead. I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, I've, I've no idea where their settlement is because it doesn't look like it's anywhere near any of these. <laughs> I'm sure they do start with two. There we go. Our Duba. Let's enslave. That is it. Day City 8. Goners. Very nice. And this is a fantastic settlement. It's even got mines. What would the AOR look like here? It would be Northern Illyrian units, but we could be getting some Day City 8's footmen, where it's actually, actually a fantastic light infantry unit as well. So I may, I may, and Day City 8's cavalry is a good light, well, no, it's not actually, it's a terrible light cavalry. You see, <laughs> um, I mean, the Axe cavalry are okay, they're not anything special. Um, when I say okay, they're, they're pretty bad. Uh, we do also have Northern Illyrian Skirmishers, which are a good skirmisher unit. So, yeah, it probably will be a good option to build the recruitment in there at some point. But I think we'll go for the Silver Mines. We might as well take the mines while we can. Let's leave behind this general. He has served as well, Bardilis, but um, not well enough <laughs> to be uh, remembered too much. So, we're going to go with this. Let's retrain these guys. Let's also get... Another Illyrian Spearman to bolster our infantry. Over here, we are going to continue getting Prodromoy so we have a bit more light cavalry in the army. Now, uh, Pluratos is an opulent aristocrat. He's also got a shield bearer and also a superior commander. Now, does he have any command? He's got two command. Come on, boys. Finally. <laughs> Finally, he's got some command. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to build in Ryzon then. I'm thinking we go for the Shrine to Zo, even though it doesn't stack with the other bonuses. I think it'll be fine, but we do need some more population growth here. We need to get to Minor City ASAP. So, we can either go for the communal farming. Yeah, let's go for the communal farming. It's also cheaper. Anything else of interest? Well, Tragurion can get a nice cheap farm. Nestos can get a nice cheap trader. And that's about everything we can do. And I think, guys, we're going to end the episode here. But we're going to take stock a little bit. Let's have a look. We do have our land stretching from the Labeateans down in the south from Butho all the way up to the Isaian Tragorion, the Greek Tragorion in here, which is a Dorian settlement, I believe. Yeah, Dorian settlement. Um, we've also taken out the Day Cityates in the north. 
Well, when we get some money, I will build some watchtowers around here to watch for any score disky, cheeky score disky attacks. So we've taken out the Day City 8s. We've had a good war against Issa. We are no longer allied with the Del Mate. So I think our next targets are going to be Issa and um, Faros across here. Potentially Faros first and then going for the two settlements left of Issa. But I would like them to take uh, Pluriopolis first. So we might wait for them to take that first and then swoop in and take it ourselves. We also want to take Nerona while we have chance and are not at war with anyone too scary. But whether we have time before the Del Mate decide to attack, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway... Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.